All right, hello guys. Let me pull up my comments over here on the side so I can see. Okay, all right, let's see. So I am Stephanie with Charm Southern Home. Am I on there? Can you tell? Do you see me? Okay. I wasn't sure I can't get it to refresh. I can't get it to refresh. Okay. Let me try again. All right. Anyway, I'm having trouble with my with my thing. Hello guys. Hello hello sister. Hello Joyce. Oh, there it is. Finally. Okay. I finally got it pulled up there so I could see. You want to say hi? Mm-hmm. Say hi. This is Allie. She's going to try to behave while I'm on here for an hour. <laughs> uh-huh. Go be quiet somewhere. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hello, guys. I have a couple of um, just little small projects planned out. I wasn't really sure time-wise how long it was going to take me to complete something. So I just have a couple things here. So if we finish up something, we'll move to something else. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, I was gonna work on some ornaments first. Um, and my page is Charmed Southern Home and I've got a sign back there, but you can't see it. But I'll post a link um, when I get off of here. I'll post a link for my page. And um, that way you guys can find me. And so anyway, so I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you how I did the uh, texture on this. And I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the camera very good or not. But can you see how there's texture on the pom-pom and then the brim of the hat and around the beard? Hello, Meredith. Hello, Donna. Hello, Brenda. So there's um, texture. I've added texture around there. And then I've added some diamond dust on the hat. So I was going to show you how I did that. So this is what it looked like. Um, before I added that just kind of plain kind of kind of drab it's kind of it's okay but with the sparkles I think it's much much prettier with the sparkles and then I still need to um, seal this and then it'll brighten up the hat the red on the hat a little bit too when I do that so what I did is since the diamond dust can be a little messy so I use a newspaper and I have a crease hold it into it that way I can dump the excess back into my jar <laughs> so to start out to get that texture I just I'm going to be using this modeling paste I found this on Amazon I think it was I've also used um, snow text before and it's okay I feel like I can control this one a little bit better than the snow text um, but I do like both of them so Plus this char, this tub hopefully will last me a while. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so I have that and I have a couple of other projects and I have some happy mails gonna share with you guys too. So I've got this brush I should have showed you before I got all the goo gabbed on, dabbed on to it. Hello, Lucille. Um, this brush, I've got another one here somewhere. Uh, anyway, the bristles on this brush, it's very, they're very stiff. Um, I don't really want them to move anyway. It's just, I'm ma mainly just using it because it's got, um, it's more of just of a stick. So, so you just get some out of the, t out of the tub, just scoop you some up with it. And then I kind of just dab it around until, until I kind of get the, um, the texture that I want it to have on there get it to show up there right there um, so I did that on the pom-pom of his hat and then I'm also gonna do it on well all, all the white parts are going to be getting it so the pom-pom the brim of the hat we'll be getting some on there and you just kind of goop it on however thick you want it and then it'll have to dry at least over at least overnight to be sure that it's completely dry. Um, let's see how it's 
already already changing the look of it there and these are picture frame holders um, it's got the little I just have the frame part um, the picture part off of there so that I don't get anything on the on the um, the little cover can't think what it's called it's not really glass but anyway so this is how it starts out if you're just joining me um, this is an ornament that I finished and I was showing you guys how I added that texture and that sparkle there on the hat um, and these are picture frames so I've got some of that texture on there started and then I'm adding some for the beard but when I add the diamond dust I'm not going to be putting any in the beard you could if you wanted to I guess but um I'm just gonna do it on the hat got a big glob there but, so just use a big stiff a big stiff brush hello Jennifer I'm trying to watch and see everybody hopping on there so I am I don't know where everybody is from. Let me know where you're watching from. I am in Southern West Virginia. And thankfully the sun is out right now, but we have had lots of rain this week. Um, even today, earlier today, some places are starting to flood a little bit. So there we go. I've got all my texture on there that I wanted to add for that one. And I'm gonna put the lid back on it so I don't get anything in there. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Sheila. So there's that. Then I'm going to take my diamond dust. A little diamond dust jar. I'm going to have to get me some more of this. I am running low. Hello, Amy. So I just, all I do is I reach in and I get me a pinch. I don't have a, a shaker like Terry. Terry uses a shaker, but, um, Try to hold this up so you can see. And then I just kind of sprinkle it where I want it to be. And I have that newspaper underneath underneath here to hopefully catch most of this so that I can save any of it um, afterwards. So you just kind of sprinkle it where you want it. And I'm just going to do the hat, the hat brim and the pom-pom. And then I kind of, sometimes I'll kind of ease, just real gently take my finger and I don't want to really mess up the little peaks that are on there, but I want to kind of press some of that down in there so that it's um, attached really good. All right, and then I shake off, shake off the excess there, and it's much, much prettier. I like it. I love it with the diamond dust. It's so much prettier. So that is how I did that one. And so then when it after it dries and then I'll take it out and I got clear sealer I'm going to spray on it and that will brighten up that hat the red in that hat and then I'll put the um, the cover back on for the frame so since I use this newspaper here I can just kind of fold it in the middle and then I just dump my leftovers put it back down in there so try to recycle a little bit So I have, let's see, what else? I have another ornament that I was going to do. So hello, Peggy. Hello, Judy. Hello, Michelle. I'm not sure if anybody has commented. I'm not seeing them. I hope I'm not just like missing them, which that's possible. Yeah, I'm not seeing them on my phone, but they are on my computer. So let me see if I can catch up here. Yeah, the diamond dust, it can be, it can be a little dangerous sometimes. Um, I just be careful when I, when I pinch it up there with my finger, I don't, I don't squeeze it real hard. I just kind of just barely enough to grab it up and then put it on where I want it to be. So let's see. All right. Or there. All right. All right. I'll try to keep an eye on the comments over here. For some reason, they're not showing up on my phone. I don't know why it does that. 
drives me crazy. But anyway, so we we finished our ornament with the um, diamond dust and the texture. So if you just joined, you can always catch that up on the replay. These replays will be up for you to watch um, later. Um, let's see, the next one I have for you guys, um, I have a reindeer. I was thinking about either I can do that or um, I can make, um, we can do a snowman. So, what do y'all think? I'm thinking I kind of would like to do the snowman. So, we can do the rain, reindeer too if we have time. Um, so, this, what I, um, I just had a board. And I'm going to make a snowman. I went ahead and did the base coating. So I've got the white where his uh, body would be. And then I painted the part for the black. And then he's going to have a separate piece for his hat brim. It's just a smaller piece of wood. And then you kind of just, I kind of just held it up here before I painted this to kind of guesstimate where I wanted his um, hat to be and his body. Um, and then that's how I determined where I was going to do the base coating. And I went ahead and did the front and back of it and um did that with black and white and for my white paint um i really like to use the chalk paint not necessarily a certain brand this one um there's one from walmart i think waverly they have and um i like both of them just as good um it covers really good it's a lot thicker and um I don't feel like I have to put 10 coats on there. So sometimes I'll just base coat with that and then I'll go back and if I need to add more white or to use it for shading, um, then I'll just use my regular, my regular deco art paint there. So the snowman, yeah, I love, I love snowman. I actually have, um, I actually leave some of my snowmen out all the time. They are some in my kitchen. Some of them um, are made by Kathy Kirkland. And I've got, also got my Scarecrow from last fall that I got from Donna uh, Ledbetter. She is on here, I think. I still have it out. So I like to leave my stuff out where I can see. So I squirted a little bit of white paint on there. I'm going to do a little bit of shading on the sides of the board just to kind of make it look a little more, I don't know, have a little more uh, depth to it, I guess, is what I'm thinking about so then for the it depends on which what kind of look I'm going for what um, a shade with um, so for if I want it to be kind of a more primitive look I would shade it with like a brown um, but since I want I want it to be kind of I don't know more cheery looking um, I'm going to use a little bit of blue and this one's called baby blue by deco art um, so I put a little bit of let me get a cleaner, a cleaner brush. This will work. Um, so I put a little bit of the white in my plate. And so I usually get um, enough white to cover the whole brush. And then I'll just stick the tip corner of it in the other collar. And then I'll just kind of drag it on my plate a little bit. Just kind of blend the collars together. And then... Let's see backwards here. I can't tell which way I'm going. All right, so and then I'll just kind of go down the sides to give it a little bit of shading. And if you get it too dark or too light in a spot, just go back and dab either your blue. Well, I got black in that one. Just go back and dab your um, white and your um, blue again, and you can adjust it how you need to. Just a second. Let me get this off of here really quick. And keep baby wipes handy. So when you need to erase your mistakes, you can do that. So hello, Kathy. Kathy is up after, after me. And I am not sure if I'm not seeing the comments again or not. Let me see if I can refresh myself. I'm definitely not seeing any comments on my um, phone, unfortunately, which would make life so much easier if I did. I don't know why it's doing that. But let me cover this back up real quick. The white. 
Huh? Almost 100 years old. Oh. <laughs> All right, anyway, so then I take the blue and the white and then just kind of blend them down there on the side. Let's see which way I need to go. So I just kind of do that down both sides. And also going to do a little bit at the bottom. Don't need to do so much up at the top where his hat is because it's going to have um, it's going to have the hat brim on it, so it's going to cover that up anyway. So then, another thing that we can do is um, let me find. I have a favorite brush. I don't know if y'all have a favorite brush, but I have a favorite brush. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this back up to where I can see. Snowman. Okay, I'm not sure if there's anything I'm missing. Facebook's not gonna cooperate with me. So anyway, so then I'm gonna take, um, this is not my favorite brush, but it's one of my, it's close. So I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of white on it. And on the hat, I want to just kind of make some little swipes, kind of make it look like he's got snow on there. And then also probably just take it and then I kind of dab on the top or on the sides, just kind of wherever you think you might need um, to add a little bit of snow to make him look like a real snowman. And then if you get it on here, usually I get it on here, you have to let it dry a little bit and then you can go back and you can um, go back over it again and adjust it to whatever, however bright you want it to be. And usually for the brim, I usually wait till I get it actually attached and then I will go back and probably do a little bit on the brim too. I'm not holding over for, okay, I need to move over, move over this way. All right, so that's so why I took the brush and then I just kind of swiped, did some little snow, like the snow's blowing, and then we, for these, just tap, 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 tap. And then I actually will probably go back um, once this is dry and I can take and add some of this modeling paste like I did on the ornament take and add some of that make some texture for the snow and then add some I can add some diamond dust to that too so really like the diamond dust for Christmas and winter but like I leave my stem in it all the time so hello Terry I'm not seeing all my comments, I don't think, but I am, I am trying to keep up with the ones that are coming in. So, um, where's everybody watching from today? I am in Southern West Virginia. The sun is currently out, finally. So, working on a snowman. So then I'm also, my next thing I'm gonna probably add is, um, I kind of figure out where I'm gonna do the nose then if I don't go ahead and do the cheeks first, I forget and then I can't get the one side in because of the nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that part on there. And I like to use this brush um, when I do um, cheeks, even though it's just a little brush. It's got really stiff bristle, bristles, really stiff bristles. So I take it and I just kind of dab a little paint and then I kind of rub some of it off, blot, dab it on my paper towel um, that I've got sitting here. So I'm going to kind of figure out where I would want his um, nose to be and hold his hat there. So I'm probably going to want it probably down in here, down in this area. So I'm just going to add little swirls for his cheeks. So there's one. And 
There's the other. So just add those and just add it, you know, just rub over it till it's however dark or light you want it to be. So there's his cheeks. And the next thing I'm gonna do is his nose. So I do his nose, Northern California. Oh, Ontario, oh yeah, that's right, Judy, you are in Ontario. And then Donna's in California, and Amy, Amy's just down the road. <laughs> so for my nose is for my snowman, I usually use um, like a burnt orange collar. I like that one. But I learned a little trick from um, Jennifer who sells on the page also. She said to use coral as your base before you do orange. And when you do that, you don't have to put as many coats. So I thought, oh. So I tried it one day and it works because you can just keep painting that orange and it just, it just will not cover sometimes. So I tried it and it worked. There we go, it's just one. Um, so I just take a flat brush, a little bit of water. Dab it into my coral. And then my nose is, I usually start like with the, with the side of it there like that. And let's see which way I'm supposed to go with this. Uh, this way, okay. And then I kind of do a little, kind of a wavy little zigzag. And then you can go back if you want it to be smoother, you can do that. You could even do the nose on a separate piece of wood if you wanted to. There's Jennifer. Yes, this is one I learned from you, the coral. It works so good. I used to put like four or five coats of orange on my um, on my snowman noses and it would take forever. <laughs> this is so much better. So there's your coral and then let it dry. It won't take long. It dries pretty quick. Yeah, I forget. I forget what she was painting one night. I was watching her and she said to use the, um, to use the coral. Hello, Michelle. Oh, there's a comment popped up on my phone. Figured you already knew that. <laughs> so, anyway. I try to learn a little bit from everybody. I've been, I've been painting since Terry started painting for profits. And before that, I've not painted. Um, I did take one toll painting class a um, long, long time ago. Made one project the, for the class and then that was, that was pretty much it. And then when Terry started her painting for profits group, I joined it and um, that began my painting, so. <laughs> You always use white, and then Marion said gray, and I'll try coral. Yeah, I really like the um, I really like the coral. I haven't tried gray, um, but I have done the coral, and it it works. So that'll be dry here in just a minute. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do eyes, I guess, um, which is the hardest part for me, trying to get them even. Let's shake up my black a little bit there. Forget I gotta keep it on the clock too. Let's see. 723. I also have some happy mail. I was gonna show you guys um something I had got in the mail the other day. I've been saving it. I haven't opened it yet to um do it. Use gray for red, coral for orange, white and yellow mixed under yellow. Oh, yellow's a pain too. I like this one, um, primary yellow. Uh, so far, that one has done the best for me that I can tell. And I just kind of by accident discovered one day, um, I was on DecoArt's website, and they have a chart that you can you can print it out, and I printed it out somewhere, um, of um, their paint colors. It has all their paint colors, and it shows which ones are more transparent and opaque, um, and it has a little check mark so you can see. So... If you want something that's not gonna really show through, 
um, you can go and you can look at their chart and pick out um, the ones that are more like opaque. Is that the one not see-through? The ones more so that, um, and so that's what I've sort of tried to do and pick out ones that are like that. So I'm not having to put 10 coats of something on, on something to get it to cover because it can be a pain. <laughs> All right, so my eyes, I am going to, I'm thinking I might just do like coal eyes on this one. Um, so I'm just going to do kind of just big circles. So there's one. So there is, move over. <laughs> so I just put some circles there. I'm going to let those dry. In the meantime, I think my coral looks like it's dry. So I'm going to take my burnt orange and go back. If I do this very many more times, I'm going to have to get one of those um, cameras where you guys can look down from above on the table. Hello, Mary. Hi, Cindy. Thank you guys for joining me. All right. I'm going to have to go back and write that down about the um, gray under, was it gray under red? Use gray under red and then the yellow and white under yellow. I'm going to have to check that out. You must pay better attention to me. <laughs> I'm trying to learn from everybody okay so i've been painting for when did painting for profit it was right before covid wasn't it um so let me show y'all i gotta try to get this where y'all can see try to get it keep it where i can see so painting for profit started in 2020 so that's when i started learning how to paint like this so Before that, before that, I used to make um, wreaths. If you want to red to pop, use pink underneath. Oh, that would, yeah, that would be good too. I hadn't thought about that. I'll have to try the pink too under the red. So there is one coat. my phone more down. I'm not sure if my tripod would let me do that or not. I could try it. I'm afraid to mess with it right now since I've got it kind of set up. Hello, Kathy. I was telling them I've got some of your snowman out here in my kitchen. So it covers good the coral within the one coat of orange. And then I take, um, let's see, I'll take it like a darker brown and kind of shade I tried to, I've tried, I've done shading both ways. I've done where you do the wet on wet, and then I've also done the way Terry does it, which to me is a lot harder for me. So, I've always been crafty. Yeah, before I started doing the painting, I did wreaths. Um, I did the wreaths for several years. Um, just a little disclaimer, I have two big dogs, and they have anxiety and hear things. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna cry and whine <laughs> oh they hear fire trucks that's what it is we usually run to the door and let them look out when there is so they hear the fire trucks going by all right so I dipped a little bit of brown on the corner with the orange and then I just kind of go around I usually shade like the on the side and then um, kind of on the bottom so the one you hear whining, that is Hildy. She is three. And then we have Harley. Harley is um, five. They're Weimariners. And they're all hyper and high strung and have lots of anxiety. <laughs> so you like wet on wet also. Yeah, I like it. I just have to be careful and not... Um, 
get those holes in it. Sometimes when you paint too quick over something, you get a hole and you cannot get the paint to stick. It's hard. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. You need to see the baby's whole oh boy. Well, I actually have a sitter here with them right now because um, they're bad sometimes. We had to um, we had to close the blinds and shut the front door so they won't see any of the neighbors outside because if they see them, then they'll stand at the door uh, at the windows and bark and cry and everything else. So, all right, so here's what I've got. There's my eyes and my nose and my cheeks. Yeah, Elaine, she is, um, she's dog sitting. <laughs> I was hoping they would take a nap, but one of them got back up in the chair. I need to keep going this way. All right, so um, I'm gonna do like the little coal pieces on for the mouth. So I don't know if it's, the correct way to do it but I just usually take my brush my flat brush and I just kind of make like a little squiggle and just keep going to where it's a smile so like that so now I have to let that dry And I'm going to go ahead and put my hat brim on. That way I can finish putting a little bit of snow on there. Um, so I kind of figure out where I want it at first. I'm going to put it, um, I might kind of put it at a little bit of an angle. I like it when it's a little bit of an angle. And I think this is about 12 inches. It's just a piece of um, like one by wood it can be a scrap or anything you could make them shorter or longer depending on what you're wanting to do um and then this is just a piece of like quarter inch um piece of wood that i had and i just cut it into a rectangle shape to make a snowman so i'm going to go ahead and glue his hat on normally i would use e6000 and put a little drop of that and then put a little bit of hot glue but i can't figure out where I put that at. So for, for time's sake, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just put the glue on, which it usually holds fine anyway. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, hot glue here on the, um, on the board. That way I don't, if I do it on the, um, if I do it on the hat brim, I'll mess up and not put it in the right spot. So all right, so then I'm gonna take it and figure out where I want it at. Kind of have it at an angle there. And then I'm just gonna kind of hold on to it until it has had a chance to cool off so it will hold. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna put a little scarf on him. I gotta go back and add a little bit of highlights to his nose and his eyes. And the little pieces of coal for his mouth. I'm gonna put like a little, a little bit of um, white on that too. So, all right, I think it'll stay there. All right, let me see. I have this is not the brush that I wanted, but this one might be better. Okay, so I'm gonna take another brush. This one's just a round brush. Um. I don't know where I got these at. These have an orange handle, but these have been like my favorite brushes. Um, I can't see anything anymore, so I don't know what it says. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put like a little, um, just like a little line, like a little, kind of like a, just a little comma there on his eyes to make a little highlight. I think I'm gonna make him a little bit thicker there. And then if you get, um, and you don't like it, since it's got the black around it, you can always take, um, go back with black and touch up and have it to where you, where you want it to be. It's the beauty of having the black in the background. So, and then I'm going to just take a little bit more. Hello, Debbie, Miss Aunt Debbie. 
and I'm gonna put like just a little a little mark on each one of the pieces of coal just just doing it like you're doing a comma it's real easy and then I'm also thinking about making some like this but in a scarecrow version um, so I've got some more I haven't painted yet but I was gonna thinking about doing a scarecrow so I'm gonna go ahead and take my other brush and get some more white on it and then I'm gonna just add some like to the top right here where the brim is so that it looks like there's snow is actually on there you missed my last two shows oh well the other one from um let's see when was that one Monday Monday night the show it's still posted if you want to peek at it um, and then I'll be on here again on Sunday night. I think I'm on at 7.30. So I will be back at 7.30 on Sunday. And if you don't know my page, my page is Charm Southern Home. And I will post the link for that after I get off of here. I'm always afraid to do that ahead of time because sometimes it messes up your videos. So... Yeah, the replay is still up, and I did post a few pictures on my page of some of the items that I have. And then I'm going to be working on some new things also. So I've added some more snow to the top of it. Just dab, just dab it on the paint. And this video will be up. I, I'm a, yeah, I think we leave these videos up too. The DIYs will be up too for a while. So... Let's see. And then I'm going to add some snow to his nose, too. So just add a little bit of snow. And I'm going to have to let that dry. Um, once, that's, once that dries a little bit, I'm going to add some texture to some of this and put some diamond dust on it. I'm not sure. We may be able to get that done. We'll see. Um, but then... I wasn't sure what to do for scarf. I can't do this, put the scarf on yet because I'm still doing the paint. But um, I had a couple of things pulled out here. So for a scarf, I was thinking, depends on what decor you have, what you wanted to do. Um, this is just a piece of homespun fabric. Just got a long strip. Um, and then it's gonna, Kind of tie that around. You can tie it in a bow or whatever you want to do. You could add some greenery. Rusty bells would be cute with it. So that's one. And then they have this one too. It's a piece of, um, it's actually a piece of a scarf that I've cut. And it's got a little red fringe on it. So I got that. And then I was also thinking if you wanted to use ribbon on it, you could use ribbon. This is just a piece that I had happened to be the right length. So let's grab this one. Um, but really, whatever your decor is going to be, you could change this up to, to go with just about anything. And then also probably add some uh, ribbon or something up here at the top to give him maybe a little hat band. Add some greenery or something up there would be cute too. I think his hat is... This one's a little bit too wide. I would make it shorter than that, but um, you could put something around to give him a little collar around his hat. But if you like the black and white, and then you could add some berries or something there, pit berries. I like the red too. I think it shows up good on him. So you could do lots of things. Lots of different things with it. And then... If I was gonna do a more, if I wanted to be more primitive, I would probably, um, instead of shading with the blue, I would just shade with, with a, like a dark brown and give him more of a primitive look, so. But I think I'll go with the red one. I think that's getting about dry enough. I can put that modeling paste on, on there for the snow. 
but I have some more of these and I may, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do scarecrows, a couple of scarecrows too. And, um, and still give him kind of a scarf or a bandana kind of thing for his neck um, as a decoration here and just make him a scarecrow face. And then maybe even change the um, shape of the hat brim for the scarecrow, make it maybe more curved or make it have some wavy lines or something in it when you cut it out. Um, so for that texture, I'm gonna use that modeling paste that we used on the ornament earlier. And here's the ornament that we finished up earlier added the modeling paste, and then I also added some diamond dust on there. What? Can't help you. Okay. <laughs> 10 year old's worst nightmare, the internet went out. Oh goodness. And so did my computer because it was connected. So now I can't see comments unless they pop up on my phone. Oh my goodness. All right. Where is my brush? Okay, so then I have, this is the brush I used for the modeling paste. It is, it's just a really hard, um, really stiff bristles. You could really just use a stick or whatever you wanted to for it, so. Huh? I can see some of them. Hello, D Diane. Hello, Norma. Red and white is trending this Christmas. Our Hobby Lobby, I don't know if everybody says Hobby Lobby is like this, but our Hobby Lobby has no Christmas out yet. And I know they normally would have it out, but ours does, ours has, um, ours is still full of spring stuff. And they have, they don't even have all the fall stuff out yet. They have, um, they have a lot of it out, but like the things that I, need that I would want to get like floral picks for fall and things like that. I don't have any of those out. They have nowhere to put it because they have so much spring stuff out. So I just take this modeling paste. It's like, it's basically like drywall mud, drywall spackle. And then just kind of glob it where you want it and make it stick up however high. And this will have to dry um, at least overnight because it's kind of thick, so. But there he is. So you can see the texture where it's kind of sticks up there. You can just glob it on however, however thick and whatever design you want it to have. And then I kind of just scrape this back off. But this is just, um, I got off Amazon, it's US Art Supply, and it says modeling paste. It's a nice big um, tub of it. It's got uh, 500 mLs. I forgot to do his nose. Ah. So, I mean, not quite so much. Just dab some on his nose. Make it look like he's got some snow on, on his nose. Give him some dimension. And scrape this off. But, yeah, I keep, I, was, I, I used to do the, um, lots of wreaths. That was mainly all that I did with wreaths. Um, floral, I would do like memorial flowers and stuff like that just for people that wanted them. Um, I didn't do it as a, like a big business or anything. Then I'm going to take my diamond dust again and I've got a newspaper laying in under here with um, I've got a crease in it so that I can scoop up my extra and put it back in my jar. So I just I know that you got to be careful with this, but um, I just gently get me a little pinch of it, and then I just kind of sprinkle it, drop it where I want to. It is glass, so you got to be careful and not like squeeze it or rub your fingers the wrong way with it, because it will hurt. It will hurt and get stuck in your fingers. But 
it is fun. It makes your project look so much nicer, I think, to have a little bit of sparkle on it. Especially, especially the snowman and Christmas stuff. I love it. All right, so then I take, and sometimes I'll kind of just gently pat some of that down into the modeling paste. You know, careful not to mess up the little peaks that you've made. But, and then get that on you. I just keep a paper towel there. and make me nervous using my fingers. Oh, I've always done that. I don't know. I don't like, I'm, I mean, I'm careful with it. I don't like grab it and like swipe my fingers across it or nothing. But anyway, and then I just tap off the extra. And look. He's so pretty with his sparkles. Let me see. Let me lay him over here. And then I have all my extra is in my newspaper. And back into the jar. I am getting low though. I'm going to have to order some more. <laughs> now I probably won't put diamond dust on the scarecrow if I do a scarecrow. So it probably won't happen on there. Let me get a hold of my fabric again. So I'm just going to take my fabric and put him on here. And you can tie him in a bow or however you want to do it. And I'll just tie it in a little bow just for, for now for y'all to see. What time is it? 7, 3, 6. I've got about 14 minutes left. Oh, I've got Happy Mail. I'll do that next. I'll do my Happy Mail next. So. All right. And then, of course, you'd have to cut a little extra strings and things like that. But there you go. You can tie it in a bow or you just tie it in a knot. Put a little bit of greenery in there. You can just lean these up anywhere, um, or you could make a couple of them and put them together, put them in a bucket or a basket or something like that. Give them all a different scarf. Um, they make cute little gift ideas. Um, I probably will go back and put something across his hat band, to, um, a little piece of red or something, so he has a little bit of um, decoration up there on his hat instead of it just being the black and white. Um, but there he is. He's a 12 inches. You can make him as long or short as you want. Um, you could even do it as a, like a little block or something like that. And then your hat band, just a little quarter inch piece of wood. So if you have some scraps that you need to use up, you could do that and get some use out of those. So I have some happy mate, happy mail. I keep wanting to say happy meal, <laughs> happy mail that I got the other day and I was waiting to show you guys. So uh, one of my friends, Dusty, had a giveaway on her page. She had two giveaways. I happened to win one of the giveaways, which I was totally not expecting, but I got my package from her the other day and I was gonna show y'all what, what she sent. She put a little card in here. Pretty card. Oh, the cards are from Mississippi May. So this is one of Meredith's cards that she's um, included in the package. That's so cute. All right, so the card and then here it is. So she included what I want. What I want is in the bag, but she, she even painted the bag. Look how cute that is. I love her snowman. She has the cutest snowman and um, chickens, and I just love them. Her her page is the Dusty Snowman, and her name is Dusty Walters. But look how cute! I'm gonna keep the bag. I might even like could like frame it or something. It would be cute. Look at that. She does the cutest stuff. So the item I won was actually something her husband had made. Oh, how pretty! Look. So he makes, her husband makes pins and different things. I think he even has like pizza cutters and different things like that that he makes. Um, 
This is so pretty. It's got crosses up here. I don't know if y'all can see that on the end. Look how nice. And it's got the ink, the refill ink. I love it. It's so pretty. It says Faith, Hope, and Love. It's got Faith, Hope, Love all the way around there. So check her out if you get a chance. The Dusty Snowman. Check out her stuff and her husband's stuff. They have all kinds of pretty things. I really like that. Thank you so much, Dusty. I love it. I'll wrap it back up. And there is her. There's her bag. All right. So what is time it is? 7.50. I have 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Um... Since we have a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and work on another uh, piece. that This is actually an order that I've got from my sale this week. So, oh, if you need cards, check out Meredith's uh, page, Mississippi May Monograms. She, I'm not sure if she's selling this weekend or not, but um, if she probably, she probably is. I'm not for sure. The schedule is posted. If you go to the featured section at the top of Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, you can find all of the... Um, all the videos, all the information you need is right there. Um, we put the schedules up there. So um, I think the schedule for this coming weekend is already posted up there. So you can catch um, and see what shows you want to watch. Um, so it is a good time. And we've been trying to do Mondays now. So um, instead of Fridays. So we're giving that a try. And I don't know why my collar on my phone acted weird just now. But... All right, so I had sold some coal shovels this weekend, and um, so I've got to paint a couple up. So I've got it all primed and ready to go, and then I'll just draw my design out with um, chalk. And if you make a mistake, it's nice. You can just rub it off and start over, and um, when you go to seal it, all that will come off, and you can't even see it. So I got that all drawn out. So with my snowman... I've got the finished one already wrapped up, so I can't show you that one. Um, but I use my white chalk paint. I love that one for my white colors, for all my white. Unless I'm trying to blend. If I'm blending, I use that deco art. Um, but if I need a base coat or something to be really covered well, I use my chalk paint. So, let me find my brush here. Kind of dab some of the water off of it. I just dab it right straight into the jar. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's how I do it. Um, so then I'm going to just take and do my snowman head and kind of outline it. Fill it in. And I'll have to go back and do an, at least one more coat on this probably. I'm going to do his body. So there is his body. And then for underneath him for the snow, I just kind of just do kind of random. So it looks, you know, like snow that's drifted. I'll just fill that in at the bottom. And then my brush is a little bigger than I would like, but I'm not sure my other one's at at the moment. So I just kind of drew my tree on there. So I'm going to start up at the top and have my brush kind of up and down. And then just kind of come out and tip it. And I just kind of keep patting on it until I get it to how I want it to be. So. I like to watch everybody else paint trees. I feel like I don't do it as, as good. I usually come back and go over it a couple more times, so. To me, they're kind of time-consuming, and I just want them to be done. <laughs> want them to hurry up and be done. 
<laughs> See if there's any to do something with. Oh, you're welcome, Ruth. For sure. And I have actually used one of these before and it is no fun. So I like painting on them much better. So then when I get done with this, um, I'll have to go back and add another coat of white because it doesn't cover very good the first time um, on this project. And um, at the end, I'll go back and I'll add my bow um, to the top and I have um, some jingle bells and things like that. I'll add up here with the top to it when I'm finished. But if you look at my... Um, I had a preview posted. I think my preview was still up. My preview had a picture of the finished one in it and um, has a bow and I have a little tag on there and I put on the tag, I put, do you see what I see? And I have the little snowman kind of gazing up at the sky, looking at the star. And then after I get finished painting this, I'll go back and um, spray it with clear sealer, the whole thing with sealer and it makes it shiny. I use the uh, like gloss clear spray, like an indoor outdoor. What? Oh, it's taped up. I know. <laughs> but there's, and then I'll go back over my tree a little bit more cause it's kind of, a little thinner than I want it to be so I kind of go back and just tap in kind of fill in some of the black to where it's a little bit thicker looking go down both sides I get right up against the snowman because I want him to look like the trees behind him so Kind of go over the snow again. But there is that. Hello, Tammy. So I have to let that dry just a little bit. Go make dinner. Oh, no problem, Lucille. Thanks for joining me for a little bit. I appreciate you guys. Um, even if you can't watch the whole time, I appreciate you. even if just pop in for a minute, say hi. Um, I've got my shovel here, my finished one. Let me unwrap this and show you what it looks like at the end in case you didn't see it. One, here's the one I sold on um, my sell Sunday. So here's the bow, the bow at the top, and then I have these tags. I found these tags on Amazon, and then you just they're just blank tags. And I put, Do you see what I see? and I added a little border around the edge of that, and then got some jute. And I love this little pom pom garland too, I use it on a lot of stuff. Um, just cut that on there and added it. And tied it and I added a loop if you want to hang it up you can um, but here's what the finished one will look like when I get finished with this one so that's what he'll be and the finished one after I get it all painted then I go back and I add the um, sparkle glitter glaze to it makes him shine I love it and this is the glitter, the glitter glaze. Got that on Amazon too. It's so cute. And I also add the glitter glaze where I'm at here. I also add it to the star. So all of it's sparkly. Um, not the whole shovel, but just where I add the glaze has the sparkle on it. And then the rest of it's just a, kind of that um, plain black. So you can lean that on the 
next to your fireplace or hang it um, somewhere if you wanted to. I'm on the search. I got to find one more of those. So, what time is it? 7.50. I can't tell what time it is. I can't see. <laughs> I should wear, really wear my glasses. Um, all right, so thanks for joining me. Um, so we did the ornaments today. We did the snowman, and I'm starting on the shovel. Um, so here's the snowman project. I'm going to also do some scarecrows like that. Change the little hat brim up a little bit, but I like how he turned out. And so thank you guys for joining me. Ruth Brunner with... Um, Creations by Linda is going to be after me tonight, um, so be sure after I'm off of here, I'll refresh your page and join her, and we'll see what she's going to be working on this evening, and um, I'll see you guys on Sunday night. I'll be back at 730, so have a great um, rest of your week, guys. Bye.